day grade 12s. Welcome to today's calculus lesson. And what we're going to do today is an example of determine the first derivative from first principles when fx is equal to 2 over x. So you will see we're working with a hyperbola and it is very interesting but it's not difficult at all. So let's jump to it, into it and see how this develops. So let's start with our definition of my first derivative. So it will be f dash x is equal to the limit where h approaches zero of fx plus h minus fx divided by h. That is our standard definition. So let's uh, substitute and see what we get. So we will have a limit where h approach zero and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this divided by h as a 1 over h. So remember I'm allowed to do that because if I have 10 over 2 that is actually equal to a half times 10. Okay, So that is what we do over here. So let's continue. So fx plus h then is uh, the 2 over, instead of x, I have an x plus h minus fx, straightforward, 2 over x. Right, let's continue. So it's the limit where h approaches 0 of 1 over h. Let's keep on writing. So now we'll see we have two fractions over here and what we need to do when we have fractions is we need to get the LCD. Now the LCD in this case is very simple. I just multiply these two uh, denominators with each other. So I have x times x plus h. So what is left over here, what I need to do here, I need to write down the two. I already have the x plus h, so I need to multiply it by x. So if I should cancel it out, I still have 2 over x plus h. Over here, there's my 2, I need to write it down. I still have my x over here, so what do I need to multiply it with? The x plus h. So there we go. Let's uh, continue. So we have the limit where h approaches 0, 1 over h, keep writing it down. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, we have a 2x minus, and if we should multiply out the 2 into the bracket, we will see we're going to end up with a two minus 2x over here. So 2x minus 2x will cancel out anyway. So I'm going to be left with, over with a minus 2 times h. So it will be minus 2 over h divided by x. I'm going to keep it as such not necessary to multiply it out at this stage. Now, very interesting enough, what we can see over here now is that there I have only one term as my numerator there, and I have 1 over h over here, so very easily this h can cancel out with that 1 over there. And then we have, let's keep writing down, the limit, we have h approaches 0, of minus 2 over x, x plus h. Right, so we can continue with, with that now. Uh, so if we substitute 0 into h's place, we will see we don't have a 0 as my denominator, so we will have a, a, a legal value over here that we can determine. And so what's going to happen now is uh, Mr. Calculus will ask you, okay, what do you want to do? You say, well, actually what I want to do is I want to determine this value if h approaches 0. And then he asks you, how close to 0 do you want to get with h? Then you say, very close. And as he rolls his eyes, you quickly do this trick. What you do is you go and substitute that 0 into h's place over there. So what do we end up with? We're going to remove this now. We have a minus 2 over. If that becomes 0, then all we have is an x times x. And that is equal to x squared. 
So as Mr. C looks back, you look at your answer, he says quite correctly. This is the correct answer, minus 2 over x squared. Right, let's quickly clean the board and then we continue from there.